1996 Mercedes-Benz F200 Imagination Debuting at the 1996 Paris Motor Show, the F200 showcased a range of advanced technologies that were well ahead of their time. The most striking aspect was the absence of a conventional steering wheel and pedals. Instead, the F200 utilized side sticks control sticks positioned on both sides of the driver. These side sticks allowed the driver to steer the car by manipulating them with either their right or left hand. One side stick was integrated into the door panel, while the other was located in the central console. Mercedes-Benz reimagined the entire cockpit by incorporating a fully electronic display. This advanced system provided real-time information on speed, infotainment, and even included an onboard computer. 1987 Chevrolet Blazer XT1 Introduced at the 1987 Chicago Auto Show, the XT1 showcased Chevrolet's exploration into advanced technology and multifunctional design. Unlike conventional SUVs of its era, the Blazer XT1 featured a bold aerodynamic shape with a futuristic wedge-like profile and an integrated front grille and bumper. Inside, the cabin was a glimpse into the future. The steering mechanism resembled something from a jet airplane, with stationary buttons for maneuvering. CRT screens adorned the interior, loaded with tech information, a precursor to today's LCD displays. Unusual shapes and futuristic seating surfaces hinted at GM's upcoming interior design language. 1986 Oldsmobile Incas Designed by Ital Design Giugiaro, this car pushed the boundaries in terms of both aesthetics and functionality. The dashboard resembled an airplane's cockpit. It combined digital and analog gauges directly in the driver's field of sight. Analog speedometers and tachometers were added on top of the pre-existing digital ones, creating a unique display. Interestingly, the gauges appear to be functional even in stationary photos, showing a speed of 62 km per hour. The steering wheel looked like it was lifted straight from a fighter jet. It had around 40 buttons, which controlled various functions, such as the gearbox, cruise control and air conditioning. While Tesla may be known today for its futuristic interiors, Oldsmobile was ahead of its time with the Incas in the mid-1980s. 1983 Buick Quester the 1983 Buick Quester was a groundbreaking showcase of emerging electronic technology. Its interior, which took five months to complete, was an advanced marvel for its time. Instead of traditional gauges and instruments, the dashboard featured no physical controls. All the important functions were integrated into the steering wheel, making it a futuristic and streamlined design. The Quester's interior also included a specially programmed laser key for unlocking the doors and turning on all onboard systems. The center console housed a disc player for navigation maps and even a thermal printer. Voice-activated telephone calling and touch-button transmission controls were part of the steering wheel hub. A total of more than 14 computers were used to run the Buick Quester. 1981 Citroen Xenia Designed by the enigmatic Trevor Fiore, it emerged as a more practical and sensible counterpart to Citroën's earlier pyramid-on-wheels concept, the Karen. In the booming MPV era of the 1980s, Citroën wanted to demonstrate its magic in this segment. Inside, the dashboard was designed by Michael Harmond, who was known for his love of technology. So the Xenia is crammed full of crazy levels of 80s technology. The quirky-looking steering wheel was the first to have control buttons integrated directly into it. These buttons allow the driver to manage various car functions without taking their hands off the wheel. With this car, the multifunction steering wheel we know today was born. 1981 Mazda MX-81 Aria The Aria was the first model to receive the MX badge, a moniker reserved for vehicles that pushed boundaries. Designed by Marc Deschamps of the renowned Turin-based coach builder Bertone, the MX-81 blended Italian design flair with Japanese engineering. However, 
It was the interior that truly stood out. The front rotating seats were upholstered in leather, finished with multi-tone suede, evoking a touch of Saturday night fever. The most remarkable feature was the rectangular Formula One-inspired steering wheel, which integrated controls for turn signals, wipers, horns, and headlights. But that's not all. The steering wheel also housed a mini CRT color television, replacing traditional gauges and displaying essential information. After its debut, the MX-81 spent nearly four decades in storage before being rediscovered, making it a fascinating piece of automotive history. 1980 Citroën Caron Designed by Trevor Fiore, this French concept car made its debut at the 1980 Paris Motor Show and immediately captured attention with its pyramid-shaped silhouette. The interior was as unconventional as its striking exterior. The Caron featured a three-seater layout, defying the typical two by two arrangement. One of the most eye-catching features inside the Caron was its steering wheel. Loaded with buttons, it resembled something out of a sci-fi movie. The minimalistic design incorporated light-toned surfaces and digital screens, evoking the sci-fi aesthetics of the era. 1978 Lancia Sibilo Unveiled at the 1978 Turin Motor Show, the Sibilo was based on the chassis of the Lancia Stratos, but its design was a radical departure from conventional aesthetics. Marcello Gandini, the designer behind the car, chose a monolithic, wedge-shaped body that gave the car a futuristic, almost spaceship-like appearance. The highlight of the cabin is the steering wheel, which is unlike any other steering wheel on the market. It adapts to the ergonomics of the hand, ensuring a comfortable grip for the driver. The dashboard was reduced to the minimum. Instead of a complex array of buttons and switches, the Stratos crossbeam was elegantly covered in brown materials. All critical vehicle functions were centralized in the center of the dashboard. 1965 Mercury Park Lane Wrist Twist Steering System the 1965 Mercury Park Lane introduced an innovative steering system known as the Wrist Twist Steering System, a concept that significantly deviated from traditional steering mechanisms. This pioneering system was designed to offer a more intuitive and effortless driving experience. Instead of the conventional large steering wheel, the system featured two small 5-inch rings mounted on a single shaft, allowing the driver to steer with minimal hand movement. This design aimed to enhance maneuverability and reduce driver fatigue, making it easier to handle the vehicle, especially in tight urban environments. Despite its innovative nature and the buzz it generated, the wrist twist system did not gain widespread adoption and remained a unique feature of its time. 